Yo, skin. What's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, Pooh. C-Y-G-G, -G. man. I'm back with another reaction video, and today, we about to be reacting to why the Belle Defiend's career died. I'm going to be honest, I ain't been hearing much about her in a while, but I guess we're about to find out, man. Link to the original video will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to be notified whenever I'm making a gaming video, reaction video, rant video, any type of video. With that being said, let's jump into this video. Be on the internet forever. Um, and I think there will come a time, I think, where I will just <laughs> probably um, do everything and then I think I'll leave. I remember yep. her and um her and penguins got into like this little I guess competition of who had the like the most sex toys or something like that. I remember that. Well Delphine had the entire internet wrapped around her finger. Viewer Sims, other YouTubers, it didn't even matter if you liked her or not. Everyone was always curious as to what she might do next. True, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I I'm gonna be on the simps made Bell Delphine. But y'all simps out there, y'all be making some women famous. They don't even talk to y'all. They don't even acknowledge y'all. They don't even look at y'all. And it's like y'all just be, oh my God, y'all just, just fapping away. And, and no nut November. You, 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 no fap November. You just fapping away and making these girls just famous for nothing. It's simps, man. Hey. Next. However, between the months of December 2020 and March 2021, the curiosity seemed to dry up completely. People stopped Googling her name, her army of Twitter followers departed in droves, her Patreon supporters dropped by 90%, she's rarely talked about on YouTube unless it's someone investigating what on earth ended up happening to her, and as at the time of posting this video, she hasn't been active on OnlyFans in almost a month, which is pretty insane considering she used to post up to 40 photos per day. For my OnlyFans, I'm posting about 40 pictures a day. Oh, and wow. Like Holy that, that right there, I don't, I think this just got to do with like, um, content overload. Like, you know, sometimes when you trying to upload so much and you're trying to do so much, you kind of like, you drain yourself. You know what I'm saying? You end up having to take a break because you didn't put out so much content to where you can get tired. And that's what it sounded like she did. It sounded like she kind of, she kind of went over, over the top with it. Holy videos crap. as well i i try and be as active as i possibly oh, wow. bill delphine's career she is uh, she burnt out that's content burnout when you do it like that kind of died and interestingly there's so many different reasons for it however we have to start simple in order to understand the whole picture so we'll begin with this bell delphine removed two core components from her content that have been keeping her persona interesting mystery and intrigue bell delphine discussed on the h3 podcast that one of her main strategies for standing out as unique was that she'd mix her cutesy image with the strangest most unrelated topics to build curiosity around her character I've got the taking cute pictures and stuff, but that's not gonna really do it. So I decided to do weird things in the combination as well as being sexy. And I'll be like cracking an egg in my mouth or something. <laughs> and then people will share that, be like, this girl's so mm -hmm. weird and quirky but or whatever. This would show in videos such as Meet My Best Friend, in which Belle Delphine oh, wow. would dress somewhat provocatively and play with an octopus throughout the entire video. While certainly being a little bit on the weird side, this video worked exactly as intended because as you might expect, many other influencers went to the effort of talking about the weirdness on their own channels. Meet my best friends. Some of you have referred to this video as disturbing. In addition to this, Belle Delphine would become known for her. I'm going to be honest. That, that's another thing, man. So many other gamer girls and OnlyFans um, anime cosplayers then develop that that look right there to where the point is like, I'm going to be honest, man. It's like when you can get that same look from another girl, you don't even need this girl no more. That's the thing that kind of, I honestly, bro, um, adult film workers, bro, OnlyFans workers, all of them kind of get dried out after a while after a person has seen them so much and then they end up going to another person. Like any dude that went to these porn sites or whatever, they don't look at the same thing over and over and over. They get tired. They're like, oh, well, I didn't, I didn't fapped off to this. Now it's something else. I need something new or fresher. It's like even eating the same food. You're not going to eat no buffalo wings every day. You're going to be like, damn, can I get some garlic parmesan? Can I just get the regular wings? You're going to get tired of the same thing. And I see, I think that's what kind of happened with the Belle Defiend thing. 
her infamous ahigao face. I think the first thing that went big was the ahigao face. Which also perfected the mix of mystery, intrigue, and attractiveness, while helping her to stand out as unique after many attributed this face specifically to Belle Delphine. All of this seems like common knowledge now that she's come into podcasts and explained her story, but in the beginning, Belle was completely silent. She withheld as much information as possible, so when you were unavoidably introduced to her content with nothing more than this photo on your Twitter timeline, intrigue was almost guaranteed. But to keep this intrigue and conversation fresh, Belle Delphine began to escalate her publicity stunts, making them weirder and weirder in order to maintain the public's interest. It's time to get your game of girl bathwater. Belle Delphine's next stunt was so infamous and hilariously successful. I'm gonna be honest, that was the smartest thing Belle Delphine ever did. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Selling bathwater. You know how many simps bought bath water? She, all she had to do was show y'all a video of her in the tub putting water in a, in a, in a, in a jar and make y'all pay 20 something dollars for it. And then on top of that, she ain't even have to, bro, she, I think she sold over like a hundred jars. Bro, all she had to do after that was just go in the bathroom, run some regular water in the jar and sell y'all regular water. And y'all imagination made y'all buy it. This girl sold tub water for $20, man. Bruh, y'all simps make it easy for some people to get rich. I can't believe she did. I wish I could have been able to do that. I don't care. I'm going I'm to be honest. I wish I could be able to go in my bathroom and, and, and get some toilet water and sell it to people. Or, or some tub water, whichever one. It don't matter. She could have got that water from anywhere. Y'all wouldn't care. She could have pulled some regular the sunny water in there. Y'all would have paid $20 for it. Oh my God, I seen a kid pay $20 for some hot chips. I'm not even gonna mention, why did I mention it? Let's go. The talking about it is almost a waste of time. And then it came to me and it was like, ah, bath water, like bottled bath water. In July 2019, Belle announced that she'll be selling her bath water for $30 per jar, which hilarious- $30, it was 30? Nigga, I thought it was 20 sold out in less than two days. YouTubers from every corner of the website joined in on the madness, each of which selling a little bit of their soul for a slight uptick in views after they inevitably drank. And y'all bought it for content. <laughs> And y'all inspired more people to buy it. Oh my God. The bathwater on camera. On the print media side of things, the stupidity of the campaign prompted news article after news article, some of which even going so far as to claim that the bathwater gave. Did people contract herpes? Contract herpes after drinking Instagram bath water. Oh my god. An STD to over 50 people. There was that fake article about the herpes or whatever that spread. <laughs> However, these negative articles were still a massive positive for the growth of her overall image. Even though they're bad, are still kind of good. It's good press. It's always good press. Yeah, yeah. By the end of the bath. I'm gonna be honest, that's a lie. Bad publicity. They, all, they always say all publicity is good publicity. No, it's not. Because if you're known as a rapist, that's not good publicity. If somebody say you touch little kids, that is not good publicity. I don't care what they tell you. Not all publicity is good publicity. I don't care. I used to think that at first. No, it's not. Bathwater campaign, Belle Delphine had well and truly catapulted herself into the mainstream. However, in the process, there were obviously going to be setbacks. By this point in time, Belle Delphine had built what many referred to as an army of simps, oh, who had seemingly did. fallen in love with Belle Delphine and her anime image. To cater to and maintain the interest of this army of simps, she would post a photo to her Instagram stating that if she got 1 million likes on the picture, she would create a P-Hub account and begin posting I remember videos that. to it. I the photo smashed that. the record after totaling well well over 2 million likes, and as a that result, Belle Delphine would fulfill her promise by creating the account. That However, sad. unexpected- That is sad. You know how sad that is? That is, that is sad. And it's even sadder around that time I went to go search to see what video it was. I, I don't care. I, I'm going to be honest. I did around that time. It, it, it's sad that they did it, and it's sadder that I went and searched it. the content that she would eventually post on her <laughs> website ended up being nothing more than a publicity stunt. Her videos would feature extremely dirty usernames such as PewDiePie goes all the way. And I was killing myself laughing at the video. I should have did a reaction to them, but I'm not. 
Oh, my channel already got struck. ...inside Belle Delphine. However, upon clicking on the video, you would see nothing more than Belle Delphine simply eating a photo of I PewDiePie while remaining I love clothed. It. Many of our viewers found these videos to be hilarious, even praising her for how intelligent the ideas had been. However, exactly. those who expected actual adult content weren't all that happy. Bro, I'm a being, I love it when OnlyFans girls make OnlyFans accounts and they pretend like they're going to be showing naked pictures and it's them folding clothes or something and they end up getting y'all money. I love it when they do that. I'm not going to lie. That's a good hustle. Happy. Feeling as though they had been misled by Belle Delphine, many of her followers hatched a plan to mass report Belle Delphine's Instagram account with the goal of getting... Y'all reported because y'all was horny? ...account <laughs> down, which they would ultimately succeed in achieving. Suddenly, there's huge waves of people trying to, like, report my stuff and then, uh, like, all spam. I just noticed it comes in waves, so I guess uh, that time, the wave won. After her Instagram account had been banned and it was becoming clear that wow. she wasn't going to get it back, there was a clear decline in her motivation and social media posts. Y'all banned her because she frequency. Y'all so frustrated. They were sexually frustrated. <laughs> she suddenly stopped uploading to Patreon. She took down her merch site, all Dang. while her YouTube became completely inactive. This short break would last for approximately three months, at which point many were questioning whether or not she would even return. However, there was still so much mystery surrounding her persona. She had to return, right? Well, yeah, she would. But what came as a surprise to many was the method by which she would return, simultaneously shocking the internet the and creating more hype else. around her name than ever. <laughs> before. On the 8th of October 2019, Belle Delphine would make a post to her Twitter page stating, I got arrested lol, alongside a Metropolitan Police mugshot. Following this, there would be a tweet clarifying the mugshot which stated, I swear to God this girl came to my party and stole my hamster. I have no idea why or who TF does that. I spray painted the F out of her car and got arrested. At least I got my hamster back, accompanied by four photos of the apparent stunt. Unsurprisingly, Twitter and YouTube completely gobbled the story up. With the main- I'ma be honest, that's it's gotta be like the whitest crime ever. <laughs> Spray paint somebody cough for stealing your hamster. You don't hear that every day. Point of discussion being whether or not the whole thing was fake. However, they didn't get the answer immediately, as after making this Twitter post about being arrested, Belle Delphine would completely disappear for a period of eight whole months. The advantage. Is it Belle Delphine or is it C Day? The advantage that Belle Delphine had throughout this break was that there were still so many unanswered questions. She hadn't clarified if the arrest was real or fake, she'd barely shared anything about her personal life, plus she was yet to post any actual nudity or adult content for- Oh, I'ma be honest bro, when them girls, when them gamer girls show that they got boyfriends, Oh, they content go down because it ruined the fantasy. For her army of simps. The fact that she withheld these elements created anticipation for her return. People wanted to know where she was. The story of Belle Delphine felt like it was yet to come to an end. Videos investigating her disappearance during her hiatus, such as this mega viral hit by Jabroni, would gain upwards of 8 million views in the space of less than a month, showing that people were still well and truly invested in the Belle Delphine saga. Unsurprisingly, after her 8 month extended break had come to an end, Belle Delphine's return was legendary. Her video simply titled I'm Back gained 20 million views within only a week and it was almost as if she had never left in the first place. Sure. However, upon her return, Belle Delphine began to make some of the many mistakes which would ultimately result in the decline of her career. Sure. Between the months of October 2020 and December 2020, approximately four months after returning from her hiatus, she began to appear on podcast after podcast revealing everything there was to know about Belle Delphine. Welcome Belle Delphine! In other words, basically ruining the mystery behind her because now you actually get to know the mystery, so it's no longer a mystery. Into the show! Yay! Okay. Prior to this, Belle Delphine had been excellent at keeping her life ambiguous and mysterious, only ever revealing bite-sized pieces I of information regarding her actions, which ensured that the audience was always paying uh, attention as if they were to stop following for even a second, they might miss some vital update on what she was doing. I heard you, uh, I heard you don't really do podcasts or in interviews. Yeah, well, I've been trying to go through them recently because I, I didn't, I was cold turkey. I didn't do any anything yeah. until recently. Belle Delphine saw massive short-term exposure for these podcast appearances. However, in the process, she would almost completely eradicate all of the mystery, which had been guaranteeing a constant level of intrigue. Yeah. Belle Delphine revealed that most of her publicity stunts were fake. Is it true? I'm gonna be honest, but you gotta understand, man, this probably was she was the most comfortable with doing, knowing that she ain't no longer had to do mystery type stuff that, okay, now I actually get to sit down and let people know, like, there's no more trying to be mysterious and stuff. 
I can actually sit down and enjoy conversations and and just be myself. I don't have to be a character. So this probably was actually way better for her doing it like mentally than the other things that probably took more of a toll on her. So you never know. Oh, or is it fake? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it was fake. <laughs> so, and you can tell she was happy to get that off her chest. She talked about her upbringing and reasoning for being this character in the first place. The See, I come from a very conservative family, really? like super religious. And most notably, Belle Delphine even revealed that she had a boyfriend for the entirety of her social media. Oh yeah, that's what she messed up that She should have never told y'all she had a boyfriend. Journey. Who fantasies when you said that? That's what she really messed up. This whole video don't mean nothing. That's the big part. She revealed she had a boyfriend. Hey, How long it. is that? Three years. But while Belle Delphine had decided to give up the mystery surrounding her character, there was still one thing keeping her fans invested in the story oh, yeah. of Belle Delphine. The fact that she hadn't posted any nudity or adult content, which her army of simps was still waiting to see. However, by late 2020, it seemed as though this was also about to change. On the 27th of November 2020, Belle Delphine would make a Twitter post stating, I can't believe I'm ending 2020 with a bang, indicating that she was going to post an adult video toward the end of the year. On the Cold Ones podcast in October 2020, 2020, Belle Delphine perfectly explained why posting genuine adult content would be so successful for her. I'm right on the cusp, right? I've never shown real nudity. And then going from that to like full on, I think someone wants to see it. But in a state of infinite wisdom, Max Mofo seemed far more lucid of the long term dangers. You can't undo it though, because it's like the, the machine that you've, the machine you've built now is obviously extremely successful and profitable. And it's like, once you cross that boundary... Yeah, once you do that, now you... I, that's the thing about OnlyFans girls and adult film stars, man, is... I don't advise any girl to sell... I don't care how much money you you going to make. I don't advise any woman to sell her body for money and views because at the end of the day, it affects you long term. Not all money is good money. Not all publicity is good publicity. Not all attention is good attention. I don't care what nobody say. Anytime you're making something, you pay a price for something. Money helps solve your financial situation. That's why it's called finances. It's millionaires who still kill themselves. It's rappers and celebrities that still get DUIs and, and still go through all, keep going to jail. You want to know why? Because that money is not stopping them from making bad decisions. It's stopping bills from being due. But it's not stopping them from making bad decisions. And when you a adult film star, man, your kids come up. And once you get married and you have kids, your kids going to go through hell. Hey, bro, I was jacking off to your mama. Look at this video of your mama. Hey, I ain't going to lie. Your mama throw it back. I see why your daddy like her. Like, bro, imagine being a kid seeing that, bro. Like, that's torture. Kids get bullied for less. Now you basically giving other kids ammo for your kid at this point. And not all kids have emotional control at that point when you're a kid you're reactionary which means whatever you feel you react on it so it's like yeah don't want to sell it for two less than what you're worth like you don't want to get scammed now this was certainly yeah. correct it, it don't matter you don't want to do it period bell delphine had built this perfect structure that basically guaranteed a consistently returning audience exactly. however this isn't to say that bell's opinion wasn't also correct she knew that she was going to make some serious money off the stunt in the lead up to releasing her first adult scene on the impulsive podcast bell delphine discussed how much money she was making on her only fans the main people on only fans are roughly earning the same i think from what I know and at the moment it's like a mill a month Wow. However, as the then why do you goes, even need to no do such that? thing as free money, and the price paid by Belle Delphine for such an insane level of income was that she had to simultaneously sabotage one of the only things keeping her simp army paying attention, the fact that she hadn't done adult content. The adult videos would go live on her OnlyFans, and all seemed well initially. However, two months later, in February 2021, approximately nine months ago, Belle would completely disappear from the internet once again. Now, it's possible that Belle simply got the bag and left the internet with her newly found fortune. However, unless Belle Delphine is secretly an extraterrestrial, human beings don't really work this way. Once we find something that works, we won't abandon it until it's no longer working. What's True. more likely is that she's trying to deliberately build mystery around her disappearance, which is exactly what happened perfectly with her previous break. She's well aware of the benefits in disappearing without saying anything. When asked about her previous eight month hiatus, she thought taking a long break was gonna end her career, but she was surprised to find everyone waiting for her when she got back. My one year 
career break, for example, uh, it didn't, you know, it was stressful at first because I thought my career was wrecked. But aside from that, I actually had a really good year. Without a doubt, Belle Delphine thinks that this will be the case when she returns from her current break. Her previous hiatus lured her into a false sense of security, telling her that she can take time off and her audience will always be waiting for her when she returns. However, this time around, things will be much different. As mentioned earlier in the video, during her first hiatus, there was still so much mystery, so many unanswered questions surrounding the Belle Delphine story. What happened to Peter Webb's forehead? What the hell that got to do with anything? And therefore, her return was anticipated. Peter was the arrest story fake? How did this character come about? Did she have a boyfriend? How does this persona affect her personal life? People actually wanted to know more. 8 million people objectively wanted an exact update on what she was up to. However, this time around, all of the questions that kept the story interesting have been answered. She went on numerous podcasts over a two-month period, explained her strategy around everything, then posted her highly anticipated adult content, and as a result, the story feels concluded. There's nothing else to look forward to, and therefore there's no reason to care about what she's up to. Videos investigating what happened to Belle Delphine on her current hiatus have gained less than 10% of the views compared to those posing a similar question on her previous break. She revealed everything in exchange for a surge in short-term revenue. However, the long-term consequences are already starting to reveal themselves. I always, I just said that, man, no matter how money the good, how good the money is, you always end up paying the price some type of way. I mean, that's just that, man. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video. Was y'all part of the simp army of Bill Delphine? Do you feel offended how I describe Bill Delphine? Because I'm not against it. I don't, hey, man, if you, you post content and dudes that horny for it and they willing to pay to see nothing, make your bread. It, sell that bath water. I still can't believe y'all still about that. And I'm happy she, she, she earned that money. I'm happy she do it. Girls who do foot foot videos too, I'm glad they earn money because all it is is a foot. And y'all pay to see a foot. Y'all can go to the beach and see people feet for free. Y'all can go to the swimming pool and see people feet for free. But y'all pay for foot pitch. Man, until next time, I, I support people who do that, man. Link to the rhythm video, man. Uh, Bitch, kiss below, man. Until next time, it's your man, Pooh. C-Y-G-G. -G, and I'm out.